So there's the three components of an IP network. So in order to have an IP network, there's three basic addresses involved in that. The first address is the network address. And remember, the network address has all zeros in the host portion of the address. And I know where the host portion of the address is because my subnet mask tells me where the host portion of my address is. The second type of address in a network is the broadcast address. And the broadcast address has all ones in the host portion. So anytime I have all ones over here in the host portion of my address, I automatically know it's the broadcast address. The broadcast address is automatically the very last address available in a network. The network address is the first address in the network. The broadcast address is the last address in the network. However, we may not assign the network address or the broadcast address. We may not assign that to any device. Those are reserved for the data network to use and manage that IP network. The host addresses are the addresses we can actually assign to devices. And the way we find out the host address is our very first host address on a network is one address higher than the network address. So the network address is always all zeros. So if we add one to zero, we get one. So my first host address is always going to have all zeros in the host portion, except for the last bit is going to be a one. That'll be my first host address. And I can actually apply that host address to a real device on an IP network. The last address of my host range is going to be one fewer than the broadcast address. So my broadcast address is all ones. If I subtract one from my broadcast address, what I'm left with is an IP address in the host portion that has all ones in it except ends in a zero. The first host on a network that we can assign to a device is one more than the network address. And the very last host we can assign to a device is one fewer than the broadcast address. Okay, so those are the three components of an IP network. Let's dive into a problem because there's no other way to tackle this than to just do it. And I'll tell you this at the beginning, subnetting is learned through practice. The better you know subnetting, the better you know IP addressing. Since data networking is basically manipulating packets using the information contained in the IP header information, including the IP addresses and routing, since the entire job revolves around this IP address, understanding how it's constructed and how to use it is critical. It will definitely make you a successful network engineer someday by understanding the details of IP addressing. To accomplish that, you need to practice a lot. So my recommendation here is to take these problems that we're going to go through, and we've actually created a workbook for you that you can work through the problems with me as I describe them on the video. And what we've done here is the problems that we're going to work on in the workbook are in the same order that we're going to do them in the video. So you can look at the problems. You can try to tackle them on your own. If you get stuck, you can come back to the video and take a look at how we're doing it. I highly encourage you to repeat these exercises and rewatch the video as necessary to catch on to this. You're not going to catch on to this in the first try if you've never touched it before. It's going to take a couple tries before you get the hang of it. So let's dive into this scenario.